So we have completed another whale wood carving. It's approximately 30 inches long. Uh, we believe it's a willow tree with a rosewood base. The fins are also made out of some of the offcuts from the same log. Really nice detail on some of this wood. You see some of the figuring inside the wood. Big knot as well. But you see it here coming towards the tail. Some beautiful figuring in the wood. Came out really well. Turned out nice. Just finished it with some tongue oil and then a uh, min wax, just paste wax finish. Again, like the other whale that we did, it's not going to get a lot of use, so it didn't need to go with polyurethane. Hope you enjoyed the next video that came up. Watch how we uh, uh, carve through it all. Hit the subscribe button, and hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, we have a pretty twisted piece of log here. That's what we're going to start with. We believe it comes from a willow tree. Happened to come down, someone was trimming a tree locally. So we think we're gonna make a whale out of this. As you see, I'm starting to uh, sketch it out, trying to get the tail on the widest part here. I already made my center part. So you sort of see the shape. I wanna follow the, the grain of the wood. We're gonna have a bit of loss here where looks like a, a limb had come out so I imagine on the inside a few inches is going to be some loss and then there's something else going on here one coming out I don't know how solid this is going to be on the inside it feels pretty good so we'll see I think I'm going to be removing most of it but you see there's some interesting grain pattern here and it just looks very interesting. I have no clue how the wood is on the inside. It's been drawing for a while now. So we'll get started. Start chopping away at it and uh, see what comes out of it. Hopefully it's another fun whale project. Stick around. So it's carving really nicely. It uh, seems to be quite a soft wood. Going very well with chisels and hammers and even by hand uh, sharp chisels cutting through it nicely. The grain is coming out great. I think this is going to finish really well. You see a lot of striations and uh, I think it sands quite smooth just with a chisel that's coming out nice. So encouraging so far. Stay tuned. Okay, a little update as I was carving away I don't know if you guys can see it maybe a bad angle here there's a crack that runs along the back I didn't think that was going to be an issue because the way I was going to shape the tail but it seems the crack extends from here and I believe it runs all the way to the back so what I wanted to do is have the tail sweeping down and then back up for a little dramatic effect. But this seems to be like it's going to get in the way because if it does continue all the way to the back, it's going to be an issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the tail ride a little more than halfway and keep it a little straighter here. So what I'm going to have to do is take a saw and cut this part out. 
try and see if I can avoid this crack completely. So we'll see what happens. The wood tends to tell us how the design's going to go, not just what we think. So let's see how this turns out. Okay, so we have the basic shape all laid out. It's been sanded down to 80 grit uh, using the random orbit orbital sander. Uh, so it's looking pretty good. I'm seeing that the grain is popping nicely. Um, should be great once we put an oil finish on. Uh, started to fill in some of these cracks, a little bit of glue and sawdust. It'll take a few rounds to get uh, fully smooth but the progress is coming along greatly yeah really enjoying this one so we're back for a little update we have now sanded up to see we've gone through the grits of 80 120 150 220 and 320 I'll leave the 400 right for the end so you see we've done a little bit sorry for the shadow a little bit of work on the front carved in the mouth so we're pretty much done on the shape what we have to do now is work on the fins and I have a few off cuts of when we were trimming it and I think this one here should do in terms of the right length um, if we can cut that in half that'll be about good lengths get a strip out of each side the wood will match other than the crack on the side, I think we'll be able to make the fins out of that. And we'll see what happens. see the fins are just put on if I loosen one up just with a quarter inch steel pin on a hole through the fin so they fit in easy for transport and uh, to clean up afterwards so a little bit of finished sanding and I think we'll, we'll be all set I'm thinking for the base we're looking at maybe an eight inch piece it's gonna be a nice half lap joint maybe five inches wide eight inches long should work out for what we're looking for here. Let's get to it.
just going to start uh, shaping it. Maybe doing a little bit of uh, contour down on each side, make it a little less chunky. A little bit of sanding to uh, to even it off, but uh, I think that one's coming along nice.